We welcome all of you to this program today, Insurance Ombudsman and Awareness Program. We have a very special guest with us today, Sri Somnath Ghosh, who is the Honorable Insurance Ombudsman Guwahati Center, which is also known as the Bhima Lokpal. The authority is in charge of the Seven Sisters State of the Northeast region. Mr. Somnath Ghosh is a chartered accountant and has served the insurance industry in the various capacities for 35 long years prior to taking up his existing positions since last two years. In our interaction today with Mr. Ghosh, we look forward to valuable insights on the key insurance industry and more importantly, on the functioning of Bhima Lokpal Authority. We welcome you, sir. Thank you. So, sir, before we begin this program, let us first, can you please tell me about what, who is an ombudsman? Yeah, ombudsman, when I speak to you about who is an ombudsman, let's try to know what is it all about. O ombudsman is about insurance, right? Now, viewers here would be knowing there is an insurance on life, insurance on health, you know, hospitalization, insurance of your motor vehicle, there is a fire insurance of your house, there is a bu burglary insurance of your house, or also a fire and burglary insurance of your shop. There can be so many things of life, the daily needs of life, which some, there may be some unfortunate event, which can really harm you not only mentally, but also very hard on pecuniary, financially. There is where insurance steps in. Insurance steps in to, pro to give you safety and security. Of course, the loss of your near and dear ones can't be compensated. But some way, in some way or the uh, other, uh, a monetary compensation does give security and stability and safety. Now, there are 60, about 60 registered insurance companies in India. Why I say registered? They are, they are registered under the IRDA, which is the Insurance Regulatory and Development Authority of India. So, if you want to get yourself insured for any of the risks, uh, as I stated, or there may be more, you have to do with one of those registered insurance companies. So, once you insure, you become what? You become a policy holder. Now, yes, insurance or ombudsman steps in for any grievance that a policy holder faces. This grievance can be what? This grievance that I have paid the premium, I am still not getting my policy. Or I have got the policy, it is not what I had asked for. It is something else. Then, fine, if the policy is okay, I have suffered a loss, I am not getting the claim. Just think how it feels, Your, you yourself or someone close to you may have suffered a illness, he or she had to be hospitalized. Now the costs are such, it may go into thousands and lakhs. After all, then the insurance, then you come and f file a claim to the insurer. They say, no, there is some issue. You will not be paid the claim. How it feels then? Insurance ombudsman can step in here. You have a grievance. You lodge it with the, ins uh, you first lodge it with the insurer, with the insurer with whom you have a policy. The insurer is not able to help you, not able to solve your problem. You can come and approach to the ombudsman. All right, so tell us uh, more about the functions and objectives of ins insurance ombudsman. Yeah, so herein now, when our, the insurance ombudsman role steps in as, an, as soon as the policy holder files a grievance. So we register that as a complaint. When it is a complaint, we will then ask the insurance company also to file their reply to the complaint, why this complaint has been lodged. We have seen, for your information, we have seen in various occasions, 
after this complaint is filed with the ombudsman and the insurance and the insurance ombudsman even before a hearing files asks the uh, insurance company to file their uh, reply or their explanations they will go in an agreement and settle the complaint with the policy holder we have seen such cases but yes there may be still cases where the insurance company says they files a reply they say no we have done the right thing so they they will give their reply and then the insurance ombudsman will call a hearing where the com the complainant will be there and the insurance company representative will be there both will be uh, allowed to present their views and they will and the insurance com insurance ombudsman will adjudicate that complaint so sir like you said there has to be a complaint yeah. so how can they lodge a complaint like this yes. say the insurers how can they lodge the complaint yes there are many ways you can lodge a complaint one thing of course as i say I, uh, as you said we are i am charge of the guwahati center of the insurance ombudsman which caters to northeast we have an office at guwahati people can step into there but yes the northeast is a very big uh, very big region seven states so how can everyone come to guwahati and to file to come to guwahati and file a complaint might not be a very uh, easy proposition to do so you have an you have the option you can mail your complaint or we have our website also www.cioins.co.in it is a portal there is a complaint registration portal in that website you can go and file the online complaint there any do documents required you can also upload there and the complaint will be taken note of it will be registered and processed by the ombudsman so i would just like to know what mm. kind of complaints yeah yes yes as i said any complaint related to the policy issued first that sir what i had asked for in the proposal is not been there is not reflected there in the policy so i i want to have a rectification in that or some names are wrongly mentioned some address is not wrongly mentioned any 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 mistakes which i have taken up with the insurer but they are not uh, accepting they are not accepting that they are not rectifying that is there and the uh, other part is that the claim has been not paid or paid but not for the amount that are asked for they are paying much less or they have not paid so these are the complaints which can be registered with the ombudsman so so what is the the time period yes. for the litigation process mm -hmm. for this insurance yeah this is something which is really unique to this mode of grievance settlement the speed at which it is done as i said we have a hearing if the insurance company is saying no what i have done is the right thing it doesn't agree fine there will be a hearing we will finish in a single hearing for you and for your information the hearing can also be done on an online basis where the com complainant can join from his place of residence and and join the complaint and give his submission so this hearing single hearing after that we will take some few days to uh, pass our order now this entire process from the registration of the complaint to the filing of the order which is mailed to both the parties to the insurer and to the complainant both it is normally the time the time limit is 90 days we in the kohati center is doing this for the past few years within 45 days so as on date as i sit before you we have hardly 15 to 20 days of complaints registered complaints which have still not been adjudicated so i would like to know what are the charges or fees mm -hmm. to be paid for this for the complainant mm -hmm. or if they are if they can have a lawyer or anyone to represent them on their behalf no first thing is that there is no charges this is absolutely free of cost and this is the benefit which has been given to the policy holder to redress their grievances mm. and as regards us uh, taking the services of an advocate it is not required and it is also not allowed for the simple reason is the insurance ombudsman and its office is filled with technical people of insurance 
So, we will know what the complainant's uh, issue is, what it can be dodged. We will know the technicalities of that. So, the complainant just needs to be present there if any questions have been asked, can answer that. Rest the technicalities, the insurance or ombudsman is there to take care. There is no need of hiring or paying for the services of any lawyer. So, sir, what happens hmm. if a certain company hmm. does not comply with the the results given by the ombudsman mm -hmm. and if the insurance or the insurer is not satisfied with the order given yeah now yes, yes it can be uh, the it's not that the, the insurance when the insurance ombudsman passes an award against the insurance company they will be. but here as far as the insurance ombudsman rules goes because this insurance ombudsman you must uh, understand it functions on the basis of the insurance ombudsman rules that rules mandates that the insurance ombudsman order is mandatory on the insurer and they have a time limit of 30 days from the date of the order to comply the order of the insurance insurance ombudsman of course if there is for some reasons they are not able to do and the policy holder or the complainant feels aggrieved he is free to approach to the insurance ombudsman to inform them that the order has not been complied to. We will take action on that. Sir, please give some idea of the number of complaints mm -hmm. that have been filed to the insurance ombudsman, pan India mm -hmm. and in the northeast region. Yeah, last I, I can just tell you the last year itself, the year which we finished 22-23, which we ended in 31st March 23, there were 51,000 complaints which were resolved through the insurance ombudsman. Uh, we have 17 centers all over India where Guwahati is one of them. So, we had 51,000 complaints resolved through it. Guwahati is expected to be about 1,000 this year. So, here we expect uh, the only reason for this lower number of complaints here is the policyholders might not be aware about the existence of a forum called insurance or ombudsman which can redress their grievances. We find cases are being lodged in the civil courts where of course it is fine but it takes time and it takes time, money and their efforts. So, they can uh, that, that can be spared if you are going through the ombudsman. So, for you or just also for your information, this insurance ombudsman institution commenced in the year 2000 and in this period of about 20 plus years, about 6 lakhs complaints has been resolved through the modem of insurance ombudsman. So, sir, so how long mm -hmm. do these complaints mm -hmm. get disposed mm -hmm. and what are the pendencies? As I said, for Guwahati, it can you can take almost nil because as, as I said that I am sitting before you right now. We have hardly about 15 days of mm. complaints which are pending. Last year, 22, 23, at the end of the year, we had 100 percent disposal of all complaints lodged with this forum, right? And yes, Pan India, there are some about. That will be about also a tendency in the region of about 4,000. But you consider the bigger number of complaints registered there, that will also hardly be about 5 to 10 percent of the total number of complaints registered. So, the disposal is very fast, and that is a very uh, important uh, mechanism. And not only just not fast, it is economic. And also, it is not that when you come to the ombudsman, the complainant will always get a favorable order. The insurance company may be right in their stand, but we do explain to him what is the reason that, that we cannot give an order in his favor. It is very transparent, right? It is explained to him in every words, in every technicality, what, what is the policy conditions under which he is not able to get this order in his favor. Though, like listening to you, sir, though mm. this forum seems to be very helpful, mm. but it seems uh, like you said, it has started since 2000, mm. but the masses seem to be very unaware no, no, no. when it comes to insurance ombudsman. Mm -hmm. So, can you tell us why it ha it's happening so? I will, I will only, when you tell me this question, I will only appeal to the viewers here. <coughs> when a policy is issued to you, please go through the 
entire policy document what what we do we will look after the first two page pages which gives the policy amount and all you give go through the document you will find at the end the list of the ombudsman centers are given there the addresses are there the names are there the phone numbers are there say if a claim you have lodged a claim and the claim they have not paid you the claim they have rejected the claim the insurance company is duty bound to inform in that also if you have a grievance you can report to the insurance ombudsman as these these centers please pay attention to that we you can get to know about the insurance ombudsman from the policy itself if a claim is not paid you can get to know from the claim repudiation itself you can straight away get there you can straight away the phone number is there the e email id is there the website is there you can straight away lodge a complaint so what i can say is that yes there there will be no this marketing blitz and ad blitz is not there people are not aware mm. but people needs to go through the papers needs to go through the documents the information about the ombudsman insurance ombudsman it's there itself so please and the, the very fact that i'm sitting here now and explaining is one way of making them aware of the things so can you give us mm -hmm. an example mm -hmm. real life example through your own experience mm -hmm. about a complainant and how you have resolved it we can if you ask what comes to me is the a big amount which we which we have been able to uh, adjudicate in favor of the complainant as per the merits of the case it was a death is it was an accidental death of a uh, of an unfortunate uh, young young man from a remote area of assam right and uh, he was working in a paramilitary force he suffered an accidental death while he while he was on leave at home and it was a claim of 30 lakhs and the insurance com company had some doubts on the uh, nature of the death and on the d documents which were given and it was spent from long they have not paid the claim and the father was very distraught he was in a very weak mental state of the person has lost his son and then again then he is he was saying i have to run from pillar to post for getting the money for my dead son so we found that we we perceived the case we went through it and we found that it's quite in order, order the police reports were there so we then and there we asked and there were some the documents where they were saying and then and there the both it was online the insurance company was online so we asked them you please send your representative to our office he has brought the papers your representative should come with stamp and pen they were asked to come take it receive it and i ordered for other claim he he got it i think within next 10 to 15 days so i can think of this so any views or your few words yeah. about insurance to our viewers i can only tell you viewers in this way as you might be knowing the uh, go government of india has taken up this objective of insurance for all you must be hearing it is now been uh, po popularized in many forums that 2047 when india uh, india reaches 100 years of independence we will be having insurance for all friends this is not insurance is not a luxury it is a necessity you just think of what does insurance give you insurance gives you safety and security there can't be anything more important in life than that so we need everyone when someone you you can think oh the agent is coming he is coming to earn his money here it just for that no but yes when you insure do it in a very prudent and mature way always whoever agent is fine they are knowing you can also talk to the insurance company and uh, above all when the policy when you are insured the policy document comes spend half an hour to go through it whoever may be assuring you anything sab milta hai you can get this you can get that whatever is there in the policy document that is the assurance that is what you will get so go through that and still after that if you have a genuine grievance i can assure you come to the insurance 
ombudsman you will get a proper redressal so go ahead be insured be secure be safe and don't ever think that sir if i go i'll be treated in an unjust way no it's not it's not that you will be you will be getting justice that's for sure thank you so much sir for explaining i hope the viewers have understood what sir has been trying to explain i hope all of you at home do take this seriously if you have any doubts and queries you can always go to the website of the insurance ombudsman if you have complaints you can go to the same website and file your complaints with great assurance that help will be given to you i hope all have understood thank you so much